Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am here with a craft with me. We are going to work on some ephemera for the Winter's Tale uh, journal. And first I want to say hi and hugs to Janelle, Stephanie, Fernanda, and Cynthia. Thank you so much for watching and always your sweet comments and all. Okay, well, I have some ideas. I have some stuff I want to do. I want to finish up. So let's get started. Um, first of all, I wanted to put um, the little paper pebbles that I made in a recent, recent little um, imagine reimagined scraps video. I just want to put them on as um, tucks for the envelope. This one I've glued already. We did a little embellishing on it. So what I think I want to do is take a little bit of, um, of this. I'm looking for my scissors. <laughs> Jeez. That's, that's how I roll. Just always missing something at the beginning of a video. Here we go. There it is. Um, I think I just want a little bit of, um, cheesecloth just kind of behind the, the part that is going to be glued down and just to give it a little more a little more depth a little more interest kind of like so okay so let's get this glued on there and then we can go from there i have some ideas one idea that i have i'm not sure at all how it's gonna how it's gonna turn out so um I guess we'll just find out together how it's going to work. Okay. I'm just going to put a bunch of glue just, just halfway down so that the flap can tuck in there. Maybe we'll take the flap out and let it dry. And I would kind of like to just pull that cheesecloth a little bit. Give it a little more. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to call that envelope completely done because it's got, it's got stuff going on on it. There we go. So I'm going to put that in my, in my done ephemera little bucket here. We've got several tags and journaling cards and I found this from, um, Happy Mail. It's got purple on it right now, but I thought maybe we could use that at some point too. Not sure. Okay. Let's, let's glue this envelope for one thing to get done. Yeah, so I, I'm trying to get a video ahead for when we're when we're gone, but we'll see how I do. I don't know. Um, really, I've been working hard on my Winter's Tale journal. I have the cover done, and I have the um, signature almost put together, but one of the things that I wanted to do in this little crafting session was to get another bit, um, another bit done that goes in the signature. And I need to, need to do a little distressing on that envelope. Um, <laughs> so I made the cover and everything and my hands are so full of glue, but it's all right. We're, we're going to roll with it anyhow. So in, I'll have to show you, um, in the signature, I did end up using one of the um, napkins on cardstock that we made just yesterday. And so, um, and it, it looks, it's awesome. I'll show you in a minute because that's another thing. I mean, I don't know how much we'll get done, but. That's another thing on my agenda for today is to um, decorate the pockets that I put on that. 
so oh guys coming up a little needs a little glue we happen to have some right here <laughs> um oh wow that's really coming up okay well we'll be be gluing that down can't have that apparently didn't get enough on there to begin with okay so then this one I don't know if I want anything behind it maybe I want I have some little pieces of this doily left from um, might be kind of fun I had some pieces left from doing the um um um, um cover <laughs> sorry so bad when my when my words just leave me yeah I'll just put a little tiny bit of that at the bottom that'd be cute I'm gonna cut this off because I don't want it to interfere with the um, closing of the envelope so we'll just do that so that little bit shows Hope I'm in camera doing this. Okay. That gives it a little extra something, doesn't it? Okay, I'm just going to let that dry without the flap there. And I'm not sure that I want to do anything with the, the front of that. It's just pretty. I could do something up the side, couldn't I? Now that I say that. What about, oh, let me grab my little sack of um, scrappy embellishments here that I thought would possibly work on. Oh yeah, one of these is going to work, I think. It's just finding the one that I like the best. That almost covers up the bunnies. Who <laughs> can't have that? That's kind of nice. I kind of would like a little... I like that one want something down the middle though and what would that be she asked um I am thinking I have some yarns somewhere like a I don't know a little okay let me just let me just look and see what I've got here. That's close. Grabbed a couple things here. I've got this yarn that's just, you know, kind of neutral. And then I got this in Happy Mail. That is a little darker. I think I like the darker. Okay, I've already stitched this, but... I think I'm going to stitch it again just to put that little piece of yarn down the middle. <clears throat> it just needed a little something. I'm going to be sewing off camera here, but be quick as a jiffy. Just super quick. Oh my gosh, I'm looking at my needle and I've got, yeah. I like that better. Just needed a little something down the middle. Okay, so let's put that on. And then those are going to be, we're going to call those two done. 
Um, yeah, my needle's got a little bit of goop on it. I sewed through some double-sided tape doing my cover, so I should show you the cover instead of just talking about it, shouldn't I? go. Oops. Okay, so that envelope is done too. Has the kind of fun stuff on the front. Little flap here, flap holder. I might have glued that a little too much. squished out a little too much. There we go. Awesome. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so got those done. All right, now what? She said. Okay, so I think I want to play with the unknown here, which um, I have this from the printable, and um, my thought was to fold it in like this. I don't know whether I'll attach it with a clip or what, but I was thinking about having copy dyed paper here. And then I was thinking about using a little bit of the, um, this wallpaper that Renee sent me from GT Designs. I'm wondering if this little strip right here you know what? It's just about perfect. It's just about perfect. So it's from her great Annie, auntie. <laughs> so a couple of different, couple of different wallpapers. And this is all in this bag that she sent me in happy mail for my um, winter's tail. Okay, well, it's just, I'm just going to cut this on this line right here. And then we might have to figure out how to get the other side. Because I don't think this is going to be, the, this piece is going to be long enough. But we'll just see. So my thought was... Okay, I think what I want to do is fold this on the line provided and then then I thought maybe we could just glue that on that side can trim it to fit once we're done and then that will make that kind of heavy Um, and then we're going to have to see if we can, if we can cut another piece from, it's like that. Let me just open this up a little bit. Okay, so this was pretty much the full thing. It looks like we went right about here. I'm going to end up with a few little smaller pieces of this, but might make nice pockets or something. Yeah, I just thought that was really fun. Oh, and then I have an idea of what I want to do for a little, because this is going to be my tattered dream. Um my Tattered Dream design team project as well. And I had an idea that I wanted to do for that. I think I have several craft with me here. It's like once you get started, all the ideas that you've been thinking about come back to you. But. Okay, cool. Let's just set 
that aside and then let's this side in. Looks like it overlaps. Maybe I'm going to want to do some sort of a little tab or something. My idea was that it would open up for journaling in there. That's my thought anyway. So this one, yet again, we're going to need to trim it a bit probably. It's okay. All right. So, I think maybe I think I'm going to use Fabri-Tac on this just because it's you know, wallpaper back is not not very porous and stuff, so I want to make sure it's so I just got my Joann's coupon and I'm thinking while we're in Bozeman that I need to go to Joann's and use the cube the 40% off and get some new fabric tack I mean I'll definitely use this one up but kind of getting to the point where you have to shake it like crazy for it to <laughs> for it to go ahead and come down and to, so you can use it. Giving it quite a good coating of the Fabri-Tac just because um, I'm just not sure how the wallpaper is going to want to stick. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of lay that down there. And poke it in as far as it will go to the to the crease. Give it a good rub. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. Cool. Okay, let's do this side. So we got some snow today, not very much, <laughs> but a little bit. We're grateful for every little bit because, boy, we just, we haven't had much. So, um, it's excited about that. Hubby's been out shoveling and chopping wood and he's so good. Okay, so now... Close this up on this one. Move it in there as far as we can. Okay. Okay. We'll put the top on that for a minute and then let's think about putting some. little bit of coffee dyed paper. What do I have sitting around? I have this one. I'll just use it. And I think what we're going to do is just um, kind of line it up a little bit and I'm just going to tear it with a ruler. Probably it here to begin with but I think I'm gonna just get that straight and then I'm just gonna slide it in slightly okay we'll just hope that's gonna fit okay and then yeah that's working so that'll be good. Be good there. So 
here. Okay. I'm gonna glue that on the white space because heaven forbid we have white space, right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't I don't care for too white. Uh, it depends on the journal. I mean, like when I'm doing little golden books and stuff, I don't mind the white, but when I'm doing a design team project and using the printables, for the most part, I really do like to have it distressed looking. Okay, we'll get that down and then we can think about distressing if it needs a little distressing which it looks like it may ah. okay that's okay we're just gonna take our distressing here and just kind of go down that crease the distress ink. And the top a little bit. Okay, and then I'm gonna go wanna go around the outsides too, but I think I need to trim that wallpaper first. Sorry, hit the camera with my elbow again. Okay. Oh, I need to show you that paper too, that um, napkin card stock that ended up using it in the signature. Don't let me forget to do that. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to distress that a little bit. It's kind of already on parts of it distressed in the design of it. But, yeah, that makes nice kind of heavy doors on it. I like that. Okay. Do you want to go that way or that way? I kind of like it this way. Okay, so what I'm thinking... Is... I want something to kind of hold it closed. But I don't know if I want a tab because it will cover up the birds. I wonder if I just tie this around it and then um, when I glue it on a page which I think is what I want to do. I do like the back too, but I think I'd like it glued on a page. And this will just open up. And you can journal secrets on the inside. Oh. Yeah, I think I like that. So, there it is. Then I'll glue it to the back of the page. And then it can open up and be journaled on on the inside and, and has the decorative sides. Okay, I'm going to call that good for now. I'm not sure. Maybe there'll be more we want to do to it. So, I was thinking, I got this envelope. I kind of cut it down to size. I was thinking of... 
doing a collage on it and including it in the signature. Let me grab this signature here real quick so you can see what I'm up to. Okay, um, so here's the signature so far. Um, I got some wonderful papers from where I used to work. Their marketing department had all these samples. And so I had some that went really well with this. Um, some coffee dyed paper. There's another sample. Um, another sample. And then this is some stationery that a gal gave me in Happy Mail. This is one of my precious um, lace covered coffee dyed. I liked it with the cottage. It's like what might be on the table in the cottage. Um, this is some colored paper that I thought went well with this one. This is some vellum from that I got from the office. It was so nice of them to think of me when they were cleaning out. I feel like I need something in between there. So maybe that's where our where this will go once we get it collaged. That'll be good. But this is what I wanted to show you. So this is some of that paper. I made a big pocket. And then on this side is the um, is the napkin paper. So, and then this was the Edith Holden pockets that we made a long time ago, kind of. So good. I have a spot where I want to put this. So anyway, that's kind of, that's how the signature is shaping up. Let's see if my cover is dry and I can show you. I think so. So there's the cover. I used some of that, that blue doily. I used some wedding dress lace and some lace for my stash. And I loved this owl and the create your own magic. So I, um, I sewed this, it's glued, fabric tacked onto the fabric cover. Um, and then there's the inside. And then um, I used heavy matte medium to cover the, pa the, the picture, just to preserve it a little bit. So let's grab the, I'll grab the signature and show you kind of what it's gonna be like. So the inside, going to look like that when you first open it up. So I'm to decorating all the pages, which you know I love to do. So um, I guess we'll do this. I guess we'll do this. Okay. I had some, I got some extra, extra printables that I can kind of put on this. And then, so we're going to want, let me grab this big old thing of all this, all these scraps. And let's see what we want to use on the inside. I do have, I do have these pieces of envelopes still that we could use some, some of that maybe. Um, yeah, some good, good papers for inside. like this one. Maybe do that. Maybe a little bit of graph paper. We'll see. Okay, there's at least a few things out. I can just set this over here and grab out as we need it. Okay. And the other thing is in in my um, package from Renee, there was, yes, there was some of these. Those, those might be fun to put. 1926. Anyway, some of that might be fun to use. I was just looking to see what else there might be. There's this. I don't know. I don't 
know if that will go, but we'll, we'll see. Okay, let's get this back in the, back in the bag so that we can manage to work on stuff without too, too much stuff everywhere. I spent a good part of yesterday cleaning up my room. I, I think that was part of my mojo problem too. There was just stuff everywhere and it was driving me crazy. Okay, so I think we have plenty to work with here. Okay, so I, I really want to use some of this. Let's just, let's just tear this one apart. This one's cool where it's different people's handwriting. I like how the edges, edges kind of rough too. Tears nicely, tears really nicely. This might be fun to put across the top because it's the, it's the trees. Maybe let's where's the glue stick? Let's get my book for glue and chill. Okay. coming back to doing this collage it's just so much fun but um but then my thought was I have some really cute images from the the printables that would be fun to have as kind of the focal point on the front so like to do the collaging and then we want it this way <laughs> good thing I checked that oh Let's see. I want my ink at the ready too. like this one it has that white edge which is fine like I don't mind it I just want it to be distressed a bit before getting glued down so I spent so much time gabbing yesterday when I was doing the the napkin video, I have absolutely no news to tell you at all <laughs> about anything. <laughs> Other than I did tell you it was snowing, but you know, I just, I used up all my stories yesterday. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I wonder... Actually thinking of maybe doing a little washi tape there or something. Mm, don't didn't really pull out any washi that would be good for this particular journal. I'm not sure that I really have anything that's blue like that. Let's let's look real quick. Yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Yep, most of my washi is not blue. And I'm not seeing anything that's speaking to me. 
Yeah, nothing really washi tape wise, so that's okay. We'll just use we'll use little scraps then. That works too. Just need a little something right there. just fine. Then I can put that right there. Yeah, I had so many um, comments and stuff to answer yesterday that I did not get any videos watched last night my friend Betty sent me um, she sent me a video link to a gal because Betty did these really cool um, I don't know what to call it I think just it's a it's a folded envelope with pockets kind of and she said those were really popular back in the day and she's made some more and she said I said I don't I don't think I've ever seen them so she gave me a link but the gals video is like an hour and a half and so I haven't watched it yet I want to though um because I was thinking um I don't I think it's more like a like a standalone item. I think it might be big to put in a journal, but I still wanted to check it out. I didn't get a chance to, so maybe tonight. We'll see. Let's see. Maybe with a little bit of this. I just, I don't know. I don't know if I'm... Um, kind of feeling it but not totally, you know, <laughs> so. That might be good. Oops. Something here. and I'm not very talkative. I've got, you know, all this time with doing a collage to be chatting. Let's see, what can, what can we talk about? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I've been working hard on getting my retreat in May put together. So I'm excited about that, and um, that's just, it's in Montana, and just some of my junk journal friends from the state here, and so I'm excited to, I mean, May will be here before we know it, right? But, yeah, so I've been sending out emails and starting to get that all organized, Um It'll be fun. I think it's going to be a good group of ladies and it'll be lots of fun. I don't know. I'm hoping to maybe do, maybe do um, a video or two from there, but I don't know. I get there and all I want to do is just craft. So <laughs> we'll see. I think a few of the ladies would be open to being on. I think a few of them wouldn't, but <laughs> so I think I want that distressed as well around the edges. Yeah. 
yeah so i'm i'm really enjoying working on this uh on this journal you guys it was it's what i needed to do after doing the circus journal i think let's do something totally different totally different style and everything okay i'm liking that so far then i wanted to kind of look at some of the little things that there are to play with well there's that guy <laughs> He'd be kind of cute just sitting right there, wouldn't he? What if I did that and then did the words up here? Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Love it when it comes together like that. Just going to give him a little to cover up the any white space. I have a little bit of that paper that I didn't get all the way glued down and now he can kind of just sit under that so that he blends right in. Look at you, you cute thing. It's like you're perching on the leaves. Okay, so then my scissors are completely buried. I can feel them. Okay, so then there's this, and I think I might just leave it as she has it, cut out this part, and then cut out the other part. Like that. A little bit right there. Okay. Get that in there. Okay, so that could go right there, and then this part, you know, I was kind of feeling the return of my mojo when I did the mojo video, but I'm really feeling it now. It's like, I am enjoying this. My husband said, you want to go for a walk? Nope. <laughs> I said, I'm on a roll. On a roll with my a winter's tail here. Maybe like that. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. And then this will be fun to just have this as part of the Part of the um, signature. Just sew it on in. I'm glad I looked through with you guys because it's nice to know there's a spot right there that, that will go nicely. How do I want that? I think I want it a little crooked that way. Okay, I'm going to go around the edge of that. I like this paper that um, Renee gave me. It's, uh, you know, it's nice to have a, a break from just all the blue. Okay, so there's the front. That is fun. Oh gosh, we only have 15 minutes left. Are you kidding me? How come our craft with me's go so quickly? <laughs> so, you know, just having so much fun and it just goes so fast. Okay, so let's use some more parts of the envelope. Let's 
see this one to go at the bottom. Okay, I don't want that. A little, I don't know, item number or something. If I can get that off with the lure. So tiny. Let me use my handy dandy little fun tweezers that I got in Happy Mail. See if they'll grab onto it. little bit of it. Let's see about this little bit. Can't find the, there it is. <laughs> 15 minutes left and I'm just struggling through the whole thing. There we go. There we go. Good enough. Good enough. Okay. I do love these. These were awesome for working with the paper pebbles that's for sure okay let's see let's just go here i'm just gonna go across the whole bottom and kind of rip that okay and then there's this bit that could go there and Maybe what we do is go over here with this bit and go right here with that bit. Then we've basically used the whole envelope and I can collage around it. I'm liking that as an idea. So we used up that whole envelope. And we used the card because we made, remember, we made this. So we used the card that was in there too. Fun, fun, fun. Okay. I'm about to the point of having to kind of put some things into the signature just so I can see what I've got for where and see what else I need to add in and that kind of stuff. I think I want to put a couple of, um, Read a Donny Donnelly flips with the um, with coffee dyed paper. Add a couple more journaling spots, but also be able to um, tuck some things in because I'm just having fun making stuff, and um, I have a lot more stuff I want to make with stuff from a tattered dream. I guess that's going to be a separate video. I was kind of thinking I'd do that in this one, but we're just not going to have time. So, okay, so those are there. Let's then put some, how about we put this right here. Like it? Gonna do it. Okay, put that right down there. Let's see, I love this stuff. Maybe we'll just put that right there. But I kind of think I want to just Zhuzh it up a little. Okay. Okay, we'll go down this side. We gotta go down the side of all these little thingamajiggies. Technical term. <laughs> And then we'll we'll go ahead and 
to stress the edges once we're done collaging this part. Okay, that's fun. How about a little music? I need a little music. Um, looking for a good piece. Maybe all my pieces are... Need to just start a new one, I think. Okay. And that, um, Here. We could certainly put a focal point on this side too because you know it's going to be going to be in the um, signature. We'll go this way. Little too much right there. Let's do a bit up here. And let's read. Oh, this paper, right? Thank you for the reminder. Were you all yelling it? I, I love it. You guys always tell me, I was yelling at you and you just didn't listen or you did listen one or the other. I go, I go with the other on that. Okay, I'm going to grab a piece to go. I'm just going to go like right about there with that piece. This book page is about ready to make itself into a journaling card. It is sticky. But I just kind of wanted to finish up this part. Um... Just do a little piece right there, too. Oops. <laughs> it's not like my fingers are sticky or anything. Okay. Let's go here. Okay. So, what do we want to put? It's kind of a focal point here. Too big. Kind of too big. Look at this. Who loves rabbits? <laughs> I'm going to put him right there. <laughs> Who loves rabbits? It's me. It's me. It's me. <laughs> Last night we were watching our, our criminal minds that we watch in the evening and, um, poor unfortunate girl was just happened to be murdered well her name was like Angela or something but she loved bunnies and so her boyfriend named her her boyfriend who apparently had a long list of girlfriends he had them marked in his little black book uh, by their nicknames so she was Angela Bunny <laughs> I thought I could be Gail Bunny. <laughs> I didn't share that with my husband because he already thinks I'm weird. I didn't, don't need to confirm it. <laughs> oh, that's fun. But you know what? I need something on there. And I am thinking 
it would be fun to have like a stamp stamp of some sort. Of course, I'm not quite sure what, but what could we put down there? Um. No, maybe I'll just do, I think I want it in black. Where's my black? It's not over here. It's not over there. Where'd you go, black ink? Did I put you all the way away? That could be. No? All right, you guys. Which one of you took my black ink pad? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, right. Right, right. It's over here with my Tim Holtz stuff that I still haven't finished. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wrongly accused you of stealing my black stamp pad. I think I'll just take... that and just sort of do a little stamping down the way. Don't want to totally... There we go. Actually, I feel like this could use a little something. Just a little stamping. Just a little, a little something there. Kind of makes it go back into the paper a little bit. Okay, so that goes back with Tim Holtz. I'm sorry I accused you of stealing my stamp pad. How rude. Okay. Okay, so we've got the outside. I just need to put some um, coffee dyed paper and maybe some graph paper, some craft paper, whatever in here for journaling. So I think we're going to call it a craft with me and I will just do the rest and you'll, you'll see it along the way. So thanks so much everybody for watching and we will just see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.